I'm going to show you a basic uh, throw you can do off that same guard position. So, whenever you're ready to come in. Boom. Here. Now, if for some reason I get caught up and I'm not doing a good job of striking him, into a skeletal structure. He's not very strong, is he, right now? So by taking him down, I can just put my hand on the back of his neck. I'm just going to throw him down here. Okay. Take him up his pin. And it doesn't matter what's arm. So if I'm in here, and say you get both arms on me or something, when you end up in a wrestling match, take this thing down. I don't care. All you're doing is working the elbow joints. And I could be on the inside or the outside. So if you guys try to go for a throw, like this. You're working a skeletal structure. Okay? Do you ever pull clothes when you're going down like this way? I don't do clothes. He didn't have clothes, plus he's sweaty. One thing too, why you want to be close, I don't want to pick this out of thin air, but I've been close and I, I like to do a slide. Okay, because I may not be able to actually pinpoint his, his shoulder. Mm. So I'm doing a, I'm grabbing him and I'm doing a slide and trying to break this posture down. Or even if I go this way, it will still work, okay? And then what I'm doing, whatever side I go down, I want to continue that motion, putting my hand on the back of his neck and, and twisting down, okay? You can do all kinds of different, different pins here. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so just work the elbow joints. You're going to be in here. You guys going to grab. I don't care how he grabs you. You don't know how he's going to grab you, right? But at some point, you got to work the elbow. So if I have to go like this, it's not as clean as the way you grab me, but I can still... Now, even if I can't get my hands here, I'm using my forearms just to do the same throw. Okay? So you gotta get your hands in and just work one of the elbows down and behind the head. Try it out. Try it out. 